Are you ready? Are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head. Who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, Are you ready to settle the score? Welcome into another week of Settle the Score. It is basically a game show where we invite contestants on to battle it out. Who knows their uh, movie music, songs, scores, and soundtracks best. And uh, I am joined each and every week by the one and only, the man all the way from across the pond, Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you, Matt. How are you doing? No, I'm good. I made sure to pronounce every fucking <coughs> syllable of your last perfect. name so I don't catch perfect. flack from you, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> no worries. Uh, yeah. All good this have... week. What's that? All good this week. Um, How's yeah. LA? LA's, LA is gorgeous. What about uh, England? I guess you're not in London itself, but... No, just outside. But uh, no, it was it's horrible and gray and typical. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah. Perfect. Well, perfect. at least you're not, you know... Says uh, smoke covered skies is all yeah. it's finally it's breaking here. It's, yeah, it's not <laughs> bad. It's not bad. Um, a little housekeeping for those. Uh, we're eventually going to open this up to fans. So each week, if you retweet and like the tweet that I put out, we add your name into a pool of potential uh, contestants. If you do it every week, it just adds your name in numerous times. Uh, so that way it increases your odds of getting on. And we're looking to do that about a month from now-ish. Uh, we've got a tentative date. So if you'd like to guest on that show, make sure you retweet and like the tweet and we will get you on. But uh, I think we bring on today's contestants, don't you? Yeah, I can't wait. Let's do All it. All right. Uh, now, gentlemen, listening on the side, we do this alphabetically. So coming in first in this 80s and 90s action extravaganza, the sleeveless wonder himself, Mr. Mark Ellis. Always great to be here with you, Matt, and with you, Roca. I like that funny voice you're doing. Here's my <laughs> top 10 sports movies of all time. Just tell me when, to, when it's time to go. Not a problem. And we're moving on from that. <laughs> uh, with a man you've seen recently on uh, a television and, uh, you know, just a, a boyishly joyful smile at all times, Mr. Josh Makuga. Hey, guys, got a new logo. <laughs> Psyched about it. Uh, hope to meet everybody. Can't wait to hear some music. Is that your Ellis impression? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> hey, guys. Nice. And finally, uh, author, writer, podcaster and comedian extraordinaire mr ken knapsack i got nothing i love i love mark ellis i don't make fun of him i love him uh, <laughs> you want to do your quick ellis impression or do you not have one uh that's got a taco bell i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that was more they, 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 they got both sides of mark ellis josh got the loud need for attention and ken got the muppety Yep. ambiance with which I declare my intent to go to a fast food dining establishment at 4 a.m. So they really know me well, Matt. Sounds more like a Ray Romano, but it, I'll take it. <laughs> somehow it was applicable, Deborah. though. Nonetheless. Hey, hey, Robert. Um, all right. So you guys ready to jump into the <clears throat> game? Yeah. Uh, the first round, Let's do it. Uh, the first round, it's going to be a uh, random number selection. So between the three of you, uh, Pick a number between one and three. Whoever is closest or whoever gets it right uh, wins. So, uh, Ken, give me your number. Uh, three. Three? All right. Makuga. I can't say three, right? Correct. <laughs> it's one through three. One. All right. So, Ellis, by default, you win. It was two. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I didn't even have to use a JTE rule for that. So, the number of sleeves you should have on all your shirts, two. <laughs> So you I would get like to counter that I wanted three, even though that wasn't <laughs> one. Okay. Uh, all right. So in this first round, you'll Ellis, you'll start us off. You'll select a random number, and then uh, Andy will play. I'll give you a context clue. Andy will play until one of you guesses it, uh, and then we'll have a bonus question after that, and we'll get to the rules of the bonus question. So one through five, <clears throat> Mark, what would you like first? Okay, I do have a feeling this whole game show is just a psychological experiment to see how many times we can pick random numbers in an hour before we're like, wait, wait, is this is there ever a game here or is it just numbers? <laughs> is, is our name our buzzer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to say um, five for the amount of touchdowns that Washington scored in the second quarter of Super Bowl 22. Nice. 
That's great. That's a great explanation and choice. Uh, number five. All right. Your context clue for number five is put up your dukes. Mark? Put up your dukes. All right, Andy, take it away. My body's ready. My heart's on fire. Gonna push it over the wire. Perfect timing. Tight as a drum. Jeff. Karate Kid. That is incorrect. Ow! Andy, you can keep going. Okay. Final battle's already won. By the breath of life, gonna stake my claim. I fight to survive. Um, Ken Mark, Mark, I'm uh, gonna say, I'm gonna say over the top. That is incorrect. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's um, <clears throat> Ken, I'm gonna go, I don't know, Rocky Three. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is incorrect. The put up your dukes. Go ahead, Josh. Is it best of the best? You're getting closer, but no, it is not. It's blood sport. Uh, Mark, uh, blood can I buzz in again? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, it's out. Blood sport. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't have given it to Josh on a second guess. He's just for shits and giggles to see if anybody yeah. can get it. So ah, okay. everybody took a stab at it. That was the, well, there's, there's two relatively obscure in this first round. That was one yeah. of the two, but I figured with the lyrics Andy singing, you might be able to get blood sport. Yeah. I mean, All right, well, we'll go ahead and do the bonus the point, the yeah. bonus question. We'll open it up to everybody. In Bloodsport, what is the name of the secret fighting tournament? Josh. Josh. Ah. The Kumite. The Kumite is correct. We finally got some points on the board. Wow. Well done. Well done. Well, well done, Mark 2.0. Yeah. <sighs> Five points to Makuga. All right, since you got that right, Makuga, you can choose the next one. You got one through four. What number would you like? So I can't choose five. Correct. Um, so I'm going to go three this time. Three, baby. Three. All right. MC Hammer learned this, that you should always pay your taxes. MC Hammer. Can I guess that. before he plays? Ah, let him play a couple seconds and then guess. Yeah. <laughs> go for it, Andy. Don't forget to pay your taxes. All three of them are racking their brains like they it's right on the tip of each of their tongues. Um, MC Hammer. Don't forget to pay your taxes. Is it is it Clue? Oh, go ahead, Josh. Josh, is it Clue? No, it is not Clue. <laughs> I, I don't know how that's an action movie, but okay. Uh, <laughs> you're right. I, yeah, all right. Ken or Mark, do you want to just take a stab at it? <clears throat> it, it, it? It could be any movie from the 80s or 90s, or is there a specific genre? There were, is it like, leaning? It, it's action is what we tried to get okay. for all of these, but it's it's in the realm of action. This one is. It has action. Action would be one of the descriptors as well as drama. I mean, I'm trying to give you some. Learn to pay. Um, Empty hammer. Don't forget to pay your taxes. Am I playing these wrong? <laughs> nope. You got no, that. You know, we're just, we're just. <laughs> All right. Five, I I've only watched four, Star uh, three, Ken, uh, in, Ken, uh, go for it. Demolition Man. No, that is incorrect. Ellis, you want to take a stab? Um, Patriot Games. No, that is. It was the Untouchables. Oh, it was the Untouchables. Um, all right. Yeah, never. Yeah. Bonus <clears throat> question then for all of you. 
Okay. Andy, you're really good at the piano, man. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, I we're just started the, today. Thanks. We're the problems. We're the problems. All right. Your bonus question, gentlemen. Anybody can answer this. Al Capone was said to suffer from what disease later Mark. in his life? Mark. Uh, syphilis. That is correct. Well, Five well, points well. for Mark. As know. somebody who knows all about syphilis, Mark <laughs> sure nailed that. <laughs> I, I, I really, I gained one point for getting that right, and I lost a lot of street cred for knowing it. Yeah. I, I, were, or you, you gained a lot of street cred for knowing that. You know yeah. what I mean? Depends on what yeah. type of streets you're hanging out on. Yeah, that's true. There used to be this billboard right above Barney's Beanery in West Hollywood that just says, it's a syphilis explosion. Get tested. <laughs> and I was like, what? It's in Barney's? Yeah. That sounds about right for Barney's. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, all right, Ellis, since you technically got the last question right, you get to choose again. One, two, or four? Uh, Pittsburgh is the syphilis of the United States. Let's go with four. <laughs> you don't think it's Milwaukee? I'm pretty sure it's Milwaukee. We all know it's Detroit. <laughs> syphilis isn't the worst one, John. Arms. It's not the worst one. <laughs> uh, you want number four? Yeah. All right, number four. Your clue is Baywatch. Ooh. Bay watch. Take it away, Andy. That is correct. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a setup. Andy, can you come and follow me with that song everywhere all the time? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right now josh you have the choice on the bonus question you can choose to answer it solo uh you get five points but if you don't get it right you will lose five points otherwise you can open it up to everybody <clears throat> nobody loses any points but your competitors could get five points so the question is do you want to be a dick or not well i think the fair thing here is if it's a bad boys based question that mm. i answer solo but because you guys clearly weighted the tables in my favor on that song i'll open it up to the crew okay fair enough all right it's probably a smart <laughs> one you may or may not know this what city was the movie originally supposed to be set makuga makuga new york that is correct wow i did not know that mm -hmm. wow i was gonna and go la john lovitz and dana carvey what really yes Wow. Yeah. Josh, I take everything I said about Pittsburgh back. Yeah. Wow. That would have uh, Thank Thank yeah, completely changed yeah, everything that about that movie. <laughs> All right, McGoogle, well, you got that. You have your choice, number one or number two? Um, number one. All uh, right. That's the greatest city on the planet. Pittsburgh is the number one city on the planet. So, you know. All right. Oh. Your context clue, gentlemen, is... <clears throat> To riff and die in L.A. To riff and die in L.A. Andy, take it away. No matter what you think you're going to find, it's not enough. No matter who you think you know, you won't get through. Uh, Ken. Ken. Beverly Hills Cop. That is incorrect. Uh, Mark. Mark. Beverly Hills Cop 2. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Sneaks in to steal the 10 points. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Ken. It's good. Uh, it's good. It's fair. Mark, do how you want to be a dick do or I not? Do I, how many challenges do I get? <laughs> <laughs> um, Zero. I if it's about Beverly Hills Cop too, I'm gonna be a total dick and just have the question to me. All right, fair enough. Your question then is: What comedian plays dent accountant Sidney Bernstein? Um, uh, let's say I had a hundred dollar bill in this hand, and then just something in this other hand, and I transferred it to you, Gilbert Gottfried. I was hoping you were gonna say Ray Romano, but Gilbert Gottfried is correct. <laughs> All right. Sorry, uh, I take back nothing I've said about you ever. Raymond. <laughs> All right, Raymond. Your, final, your final question of the first round, or final uh, song of the first round, rather, is your context clue. Let's seal the deal with a little golf. Let's seal the deal with a little golf. Mark. Uh, you got to wait sorry, for the sorry, song sorry. and then chime in. Take yeah. it away, Andy. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Go ahead. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and buzz in, but then Andy can play 10 seconds now. 
Go for it, Andy. <laughs> Mark. Mark, go ahead. There's a great scene, maybe the greatest scene in cinema history is when the Navy SEALs are on the golf course, just tearing that thing up. I'm going to go Charlie Sheen, Michael Bean, classic Navy SEALs. That is correct. The boys are back in town again. <laughs> All right. That, movie, that song comes up in more <laughs> movies than you, uh, you'd be surprised. Yes. Um, all right. Do you want to be a dick or not on the bonus question? No, I won't be a dick this time. Let's open it up to the field, to, to my fellow SEALs. Awesome. Okay. Then the, uh, this, is probably, this is probably the easiest question of the first round. What TV insurance salesman plays Billy Graham? Makuga. Makuga. Um, oh, God. He's the president in 24. Uh, Pedro Serrano. I, uh, Five, <laughs> four, three. Dennis two. Haysburg. Yes. Oh, wow. I told it. I didn't think you would get that. Woo! Uh, nice. Okay. You made it uh, close after the first round. Mark has 30. Makuga has 25. And Ken has yet to get on the board. But it's all yeah. right. All, all the faith in the world, Ken. Mm -hmm. All the faith in the world. Uh, all right. This next round is called Five Second Songs. You get the opening five seconds. And if one of you guesses, you get 10 points. Um, and if that individual gets it wrong, the other two can wait to hear the other five seconds or they can guess themselves at that point. Okay. If uh, if we have to go to the five second, the second five seconds at any point, it's worth now five points instead of 10 overall. Does Got that it. make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, Ken, since you're in last place, you can have choice. What okay. random number one through five would you like, sir? Definitely going two. Number two. Number two it is. Mm. Mm. Your context clue for the second song and five second song round is a cry from the mountaintop. A cry from the mountaintop. Andy, give us that five seconds. Uh, Rocky Four. That is correct. Oh wait, I thought I thought Ken was the only one that could buzz in for the first five seconds. <clears throat> no, he got the he got the choice. I got the choice. Oh, okay. My 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 mind drifted. Yeah. <laughs> Nice poll. Nice poll. Yeah, it's a, it's a great one. I uh, didn't even have one. to get to any kind of words or the second five seconds. All right, Makuga, you got that. You get to choose again. One, three, three four, and five. Three. No hesitation. Let's do it. All right. Your context clue is this job is too tough for scientists. This job is too tough for scientists. Andy, give us that first five seconds. All right. Mark? Yeah, Mark again. That is correct. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I could sing that with Andy if he wants to. I mean, I know that's like <laughs> my favorite. Man, that's so close to him. Hold on. I want to close my eyes. All right. Well, Mark, with the early pull on that, that's uh, two straight with you with the uh, Navy SEALs and now Armageddon. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, I do. I do nothing if not pull out early, Matt. <laughs> no syphilis for you. No. So you, uh, get, you avoid it. What do you want, man? Uh, Ellis, you have your choice. One, four or five. First of all, kids, pulling out will not get rid of syphilis, just so y'all know. <laughs> pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it will. That's good science. Legally, we have to say that. It's a, it's a job too tough for scientists. Uh, let's go number one. All right, number one. Your context clue on number one is looking for a deathbed pardon. Take it away, Andy. Ken. Young Guns 2. That is ah, correct. Yes. Ken. Way to go. Way to go, Ken. Board. Make you famous. Um, <laughs> all right. You got your choice now. There's only two left. It's number four, number five. Ken, what would you like? Uh, let's go uh, five. Johnny Bench, number five, number five. Number five. All right. Your context clue for number five in five second songs is a whistle stuns Goliath. 
a whistle stuns Goliath. Take it away, Andy. Any guesses? We can always, we have the second five seconds we can play. And it's not, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the next five seconds. It could be the chorus. It could be, who knows? Yeah, okay. yeah I'd, I'd say go ahead and give us that that other five seconds. No guesses from any of you? All right, Andy, give us the next five seconds on this. <clears throat> A whistle stuns Goliath. We don't need another hero. We don't need a way home. Oh, God. We don't need a... Five, four, three, oh, God. two... Uh, Mark. Mark. I'll, I'll say over the top again. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's a classic, but it is incorrect. Ken or Josh, you just want to, you can't lose any points. Yeah, that lyric is in my head and I'm just running through it. Makuga. Need on D? Makuga. The firm. <laughs> I know why you guessed that because of like the steel drum kind of sound. Yes. Great guess. Great yes. Guess. Hmm. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Uh, and I know, under siege. I don't know. No, no, that is also incorrect. That is from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. This ne the final one of five second songs, probably the most obscure of the round. Just as a heads up. Well, if I didn't get Mad Max Thunderdome. Uh, it's even more obscure than that. Your context clue for the final question is: a real hot rod saves the day. A real hot rod saves the day. Andy, give us that first five seconds. Makuga. Makuga. Oh. Uh, well, can I say Boogie Nights? You can, and you'd be incorrect. <laughs> uh, okay, Mark. Mark. Uh, I, Mark. I think Ken was actually chiming in at the same but, time but, as Makuga. He just said it, so. Josh just said it. I, I didn't hear him, so go ahead. Okay. Well, I was Transformers the movie. Transformers the movie is correct, and I'll give it to you, Ken. I have zero problem okay. with that. I feel as though I stole it from, I stole some power. The look on your face said you knew it. Oh, I know it. A hundred percent knew it. I, I know we all did. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, anytime somebody turns into Rodimus Prime, it sticks yeah. with us for the rest of our it lives. Does. It does. I almost was gonna go. They live, but uh, I was I was thinking they live too, and then I heard the touch, and then I was like, oh no, way to transform. But once you hear Stan Bush, you can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I botched that. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, but you know. It's all right. You know, what are you going to do? You can't get them Boogie all. Nights. So, Josh, you know. In Boogie Nights. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, after the second round, our scores are Ellis has 40 in the lead, Josh at 35, and Ken has 20. All right. So it's horrible. It's even and out. All right. The final round is anybody's game. So what? Uh, I'll give a context clue again. And... Ken, we'll start with you, and you're wagering how many notes you can guess this song in. If you guess it in three notes and more, you get 10 points. If you guess it in two notes, you get 15. One note, you get 20. Oof. Zero notes, and you just want to go without the song whatsoever, just based on the context clue. Good fucking luck with that, because we make them kind of tough. You get 25 points. Okay. So, so the opening bid for anybody, whoever's starting, is three notes, but you can start with 20 notes, and we we just basically wager it around. It'll go uh, okay. Ken, Josh, Mark on this opening one, and I'll direct traffic. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm going to wager five notes. Well, do you want to hear the context clue first? Oh, damn, yeah. No, no. Ken forfeited his right to hear the yeah. context clue. Ken needs yeah. to leave. <laughs> well, Ken, you get to pick a random number once again, and then I'll give you a context clue. And if you want to say five, gotcha. That's okay, fine. Chances are that's still going to be it. Uh, all right. Uh, what number? Okay, someone's at my front door somehow. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Are we witnessing a murder? Andy, yeah, play some know. ominous music. <laughs> play uh, some creepy. Yeah. What uh, What number do you want? Yeah, number number one. Number one. Okay. 
Matt, the calls are coming from inside the house. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was. Uh, anyway, so uh, number one, the context clue for this is the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project. So, Ken, we start with you. Number of notes. You don't have to do five. You can do as many as you like. But where would you like to start on this um, wagering round? Well, definitely 10 notes. 10 notes. All right. Over to you, Makuga. You can tell him to settle the score. So he's got to do it in 10 notes. Or you can you can wager nine all the way down to zero. What would you like to do? I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I, I would say settle the score. Ken, if you get this in 10 notes, I will be shocked. I, I think he's got a damn good shot. 10 notes is a lot of notes. It's a surprising yeah. number of notes. All right. Once again, your context clue is the Manhattan Project. This is worth 10 points for you, sir. Okay. Andy, you got 10 notes. Take it away. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> the Manhattan Project. Uh, uh, Muppets take Manhattan? <laughs> no. That is, is, there, correct. is there stealing in this? That, no points to be stolen, but go ahead. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted that one. I was escaped from New York. That was escaped nice. from New York. Uh, Love that. Josh Well, no points were awarded. Ken, I thought you I thought you were gonna get that one, to be perfectly honest. I you know, I've never seen that film, so <clears throat> Oh really? Yeah. Well, honestly, at this point, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> It's just the God's I, honest truth. It's peak Kurt Russell with an it iPad. Peak Russell, I mean, almost as good as uh, Big Trouble Little China. Almost, peak, yeah. Peak, peak Kurt Russell for me is unlawful entry. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's because Madeline Stowe's in it. You weird. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Josh, we'll move on to you then, since okay. uh, nobody got that right. We'll just go around until someone does. For Christ's sakes, <laughs> uh, what number do you want? Two, three, four, or five. Come on, Matt. Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, my, my fault. Is that is that a Steelers thing I don't know about? Should I always default to three? <laughs> no, it's just my favorite number within the numbers of one through five. Yeah, that's, that's true. I forgot yeah. about that. All right. Yeah. Your context clue. And once again, the minimum you can start with is uh, three notes, but you can do as okay. many as you like. Okay. Your context clue is you'll have a really good time at the Blue Oyster Club, how many notes would you like to start with? You'll have a really good time at the Blue Oyster Club. And I can I can just say without notes at all, I can guess, right? You have to wait until it gets back to you. So oh, okay. minimum is three. So if you think that's the case, do you start with three or do you start higher in the hopes that these two don't know it and then it comes back around to you? Little game you know what? I, I'll, go, I'll go with the Ken 10. 10 notes. The Ken 10 takes on the Makuga 3. Ellis, it's over to you. Nine notes or less, or tell him to settle the score. Um, I think he'll get it in 10 notes. So I'll say... I'll say I could do it in seven. All right. Seven notes for Ellis. Knapsack is over to you. Do you want to say six or less, or do you want to tell Ellis to settle that score? I'll, I'll, I'll go six or less. Six or less. Makuga, back over to you. Now, you could say zero right now if you so choose. You were a little cocky before. Now someone seems to be backing there, off. There. So you can tell. Right, I'll go five. Five or less. F all right, five. <laughs> over to you, Ellis. Five notes. So you got to go four or less or tell them to settle the score. Can you repeat the clue one more time? You'll have a really good time at the Blue Oyster Club. Are you saying good or something else? I can't tell you that. Now, can I? You got to just listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you telling him to settle it on five? Or you go on less. I'll tell him to settle it on five. Yeah. All right, settle that score. Five notes. Andy, are you ready with the five? Yeah. Take it away. It's Police Academy. It is Police Academy. I was going to get Police Academy without. <laughs> I mean, 
as as a diehard rabid fan of the Police Academy franchise. I'm even going up to Police Academy six. Yeah, I was yeah. pretty sure I would have gotten that. Um. All right. Well, you got ten points for that, and you took the Thank lead you. by five yeah. points right now. Okay. But it's still technically anybody's game. Um, so since you won that one, you get to choose. You have your choice of two, four, and five. What would you like? I hate the number five. Let's go two. <laughs> what did five do to you? Yeah. I don't know. Um, all right. Number two. Mm. Didn't uh, I think all the context clues for this one may or may not help a little too much. Okay. <laughs> I know. Trust me. We wrote out a bunch. We're going to go with cruise control. Cruise control. Okay. How many notes would you like to start with, Mr. Josh Makuga? Minimum is three. I'll go eight. All right, eight. Over to you, Ellis. Would you like to say seven or tell him to settle the score? Seven or less, rather. Um, I think I could probably do it in five. All right, Ellis is chiming in with five. Knapsack, over to you, sir. I want him to settle the score. Settle that score. Five notes. Take it away, Andy. Uh, Top Gun. Nice. That is correct. (laughs) Um, Don't you dare do it, Josh. Don't you, oh, I thought you were. I thought you were reaching for the uh, for the Jeopardy for the Josh. <laughs> well, I was just telling Amanda to watch Andy play piano. She just came in, but I'll do it. <laughs> the real Top Gun, Josh McQueen for Jeopardy. <laughs> All right, Ellis, you control the board. Number four or number five? What would you like? Just because Josh hates it so much, and it's the amount of titles the San Antonio Spurs have won. Let's do five. All right, your context flew clue rather for five is whatever you do, do not touch the floor. Whatever you do, do not touch the floor. Ellis, starting it off with you, how many notes would you like to start with, sir? I think I can do this. um, Minimum is three, but you can do as many as you like. I think I can do it in five. Ooh, over to you, Knapsack. He's saying five. Would you like to say four or less? Tell him to settle the score. I mean, I... I guess settle score. I can't do it in less than that. So if it's right. choice is less or settle, settle. There you go. Ellis, five notes. Let's see if you can do this. Andy, take it away. Oh. I'm going to say that is the floor at Langley, Virginia for Mission Impossible. <laughs> R.I.P. Amelia West of Essex's character. That is correct, obviously. I should have gone with it. I just, I just didn't think there'd be two cruise questions in a row. I just, I just hey, cruise it. myself in. Well, you know, look, the guy's been doing action films for 40 yeah. years at this point. True. Yeah. Can I just tell you all that, like, I was so excited for that Mission Impossible movie because I was sitting in the theater with my friends and it was Tom Cruise and Emilio Estevez together. And, like, my two favorite actors were going to finally, like, save the day. And then Emilio eats it in, like, the first 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh, that's. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I think the more uh, is that Emilio is one of your favorite actors. Hey. <laughs> Ask Ken why. He knows. I think, yeah, young I think the biggest awe is Mark, is Mark saying, me and my friends. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, all right, we got... My stuffed animal. <laughs> Did you buy them all tickets? They just seated yeah, next to you? My mom bought them all tickets. It was my birthday party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> all right. Well, we only have one left, gentlemen. All right. Your context clue for this is CIA slush funds. CIA slush funds. You know what? And Ken, we will start with you since I don't believe you've started since the first. CIA slush funds. Um, I I will uh, add 10 or less. Okay, 10. You're saying 10. Ken is saying 10. Over to you, Makuga. 
You want to tell them to settle the score or go nine or less? I think I know this without the uh, song. Very I'm going to say popular. three. I'll say three. Wow. Okay, three. Over to you, Ellen. <clears throat> Matt, can we get a less? score check and what the implications of me asking Josh to settle the score are? You have a 15-point lead as of right now. At three notes and above, he can only get to 55. So and what am I? Win. You will win, even if um, he gets this correct. Yeah. Then I will, but if it comes I would, back I'll, around to him and he gets it on zero, then he wins. Okay. Then I'll I'll say I can I'll say I can settle it in uh, in two then. All right. Knapsack over to you. Um, I'll. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make Mark settle that score. All right. Settle two notes. Score. I, I tried, Josh. I tried. Man, you should have let it come back to me so I could try and beat Mark. Cool friends, Ellis. You know, Mark and I like number five. Huh. Yeah. Ooh, that's true. That is true. <laughs> All right. Two notes. Here they are. <laughs> I like you. If I if I say CIA f- slush funds, uh, the only thing I'm thinking is clear and present danger. That is incorrect. Whoa, that's what I was going to say. Clear and present danger. Uh, that's what I was going to say too. That's why we choose it, guys. No, that is the rock. <gasps> Andy's piano playing is beautiful, as is that movie. I'm just, I'm not, I would have never gotten the rock from that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, everything else was, I think it would have given it away. Andy wrote a bunch of great context clues for that one. Yeah. Uh, but everything else was like, I think they're going to get that without yeah. having to hear a single note. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson was the, honestly the runner up. I almost went with Dwayne, but it's, yeah, then you get, then you know, yeah. Yeah, then you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, all I want to know is, do you like your haircut? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that scene. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Josh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you like Do you like Elton John? I do. Okay, because you, that's what you are. You're the Rocket Man. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why yeah. do we have to do your armpit hair for that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're a grown Thank man. You, Put a shirt on. Hi, girls. <laughs> oh, I'll God. take the well, shirt off, Matt. I will. I won. Okay, I'll take the shirt off. You I did. Won. Congratulations to Mark Ellis, your winner on today's show. <laughs> but a fair showing hey. by all involved. I, I, oh, I, Mark, you shut up a bitch. I knew it were you. Uh, <laughs> that was my comment. I can. Uh, I, I had a great time, Matt, and I can. I can safely say I think I speak for all three gentlemen. When I say that this is my favorite movie trivia show in the, sorry, I read that off the prompter wrong. This is my second favorite movie <laughs> trivia show that I've been involved in. Uh, well, thank you so much. I don't know how many you've been involved in, how big a, a boast that is, but I'll take it nonetheless. <laughs> We're not More really trying that. to compete with others, you know. No, this is great. And Andy, you're a you're a super talent. I'm I'm almost embarrassed that you have to be on a stream with the four of us. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you know, a fair showing by all. The final score was sixty to forty five to twenty. Um, mm. So it's not like it you you blew the the doors off of it. It was close. Yeah. Technically, anybody could have won in that final round. Um, so I would like to thank all three of you for coming on. Uh, Ken, anything you want to say before we get out of here? I, I, first, first of all, for <clears throat> questions on this great, fun show, don't doubt yourself. I had a couple answers in my head, and, and I just uh, did, I didn't believe. I didn't believe in myself, and, and that's the lesson. Uh, no, hey, uh, thanks for having me on. You can, uh, yeah, the Andy, thank you for featuring the book on the, the uh, on top of your piano, uh, Why We Love Star Wars. You guys can pick that up and, and watch uh, and listen to the afternoons with Josh, Ken, and Amanda every week. Please do. McCougal, what about you, sir? Yeah, I echo what uh, Ken said, and also uh, I'm very jealous of Andy's talent on the keys. I took piano lessons for 10 years and know absolutely nothing, so <laughs> great. Awesome. But thanks, Matt. This was a blast, dude. I love this kind of stuff, so thank you. Yeah, no, thank you all for, for doing it. And uh, Ellis is our big grand winner. What would you like to say? Woo! Dear God, he's taking a deep I, breath. Yeah, I, I think I plugged it enough there. So the other thing I'll say as we leave is um, I want to rematch. I want to go again. I want more Josh. I want more Ken. 
Round two. Let's do it. But I'll happily do more. Well, Ken, I Look think you're now hand. contractually obligated hand. to take your shirt off. I am uh, no pet. Who's got the most chest hair between the three of you? Makuga, Makuga, just, clearly. Uh, Makuga. I mean, that's that's way thicker than I was anticipating. That's a lot. That's a I ran a uh, I ran a little trimmer through mine recently, yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago. But um, I, I'd probably say Makuga does. Yeah. I need a lawnmower. I love that yours, Ellis, follows your tan line. So you just shaved the exposed parts of your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this is really like yeah. this is white, and then this is like translucent. Tilda Twinton. Yeah. yeah, right. That's like a, a slow churn vanilla next to the vanilla bean. Mm. Yeah, it's like this is Michael Bolton. This is Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> and to see that kind of duality in one individual is stunning. <laughs> I'm here for your entertainment. Thanks for having us. We, yeah. uh, I, I think, I think the boys and I would like to do this again sometime if you can find time in y'all's busy schedule. Oh, that's good. Well, we'll uh, make sure there's only one cruise on the next one, just to that's not throw Ken off. No, that was, but that's where I doubted myself. I was like, oh, it's mission. It's got to be in the nose. Uh, Matt, can I make a request in 80s, 90s, and early 2000s rom coms? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> that's what you want to do? Yeah. That's what you want to do? Yes. Really? I'm back for that. Let's I'm do in. it. I'm in. All, All right. right. Fine. Fine. We'll set you guys up on the <clears> rom coms. <throat> I didn't see that coming out of Makuga's mouth today. I feel like your wife is prodding you every time she walks by and goes, rom coms. <laughs> And just it's just <laughs> cattle prod in the back. Hey, my 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 home has started to smell like rom coms about three and a half years ago. So yeah. no. <laughs> that's the Valentine's Day show sorted, right, Matt? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and Ellis, next time, some more Lee Roth high kicks. I'd really appreciate that. I'll try to get more of a full body shot so I can show the ladies really what they're missing. Um, and uh, listen to the afternoons podcast because these two gentlemen are. Two of my favorite people on that. Not my favorite, but two of my favorite people on the show. That's <laughs> there you go. That's right. There's number, their numbers two and three on that uh, trifecta of individuals. Correct. They, they, they have a couple fans that leave messages from time to time that I like better, but but they're in the running. We're there. That's beautiful. And Josh, enjoy your wake. Uh, it's a you. lovely bouquet. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you say to somebody, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on uh, this week's episode of Settle the Score. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We will definitely have you back for our rom-coms. Matt knows. Do down. not invite him to funerals. Wow. <laughs> Good thing uh, anything else. That bouquet was just the way he was holding it. Uh, it's a, hey, a lost wait, wait. Where's the food? These flowers suck. Is that guy dead? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an 80s movie bully. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Look at this loser dead. <laughs> I mean, I'd say something that's socially inappropriate in today's cool. modern uh, times. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the Settle the Score. Uh, Andy, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, just uh, buy tickets to uh, Ken and Mark Riley's show October 10th. I'll be playing a little something, something Star Warsian on the piano. So, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously a reminder to uh, retweet your tweet that's going to go out, um, and hopefully we get some people on the show. Uh, damn straight. Yeah, and where can they get those uh, tickets, Ken? Uh, you can go to KenAppsack.com, click on the events page. It'll link over to Ticket Web, uh, put on by uh, Sean Haley Productions. A lot of fun. Thank you for Andy uh, to, to remind me to do my job and promote the show. I uh, appreciate that. But, yeah, it's going to be fun October 10th. Uh, well, please, yeah, go uh, go to Ken's website and grab some tickets right now. And October 10th, uh, what time is it starting? Uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. And the link of the show will uh, be on Mark Riley's YouTube page for a couple of days if you, if you need to miss it for any reason. I mean, why would you? But, you know. I'm sure everybody will tune in and see it live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll hit him up there. That is it for this <clears> week's <throat> uh, Settle the Score. Gentlemen, once again, thank you to all three of you for taking the time out to participate in this stupid game. I hope you had fun. And yeah. uh, we did. Ellis, next time you will definitely have to be shirtless the whole time. I think this is <laughs> the fact that you're blending into the paint of the wall behind you is <laughs> a little scary. If you didn't have facial hair, we wouldn't know where your face is. Yeah, well, the real the real joke is on you guys because I was naked from the waist down when we started the broadcast. <laughs> Panama. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, that's it for this week's Settle the Score. Uh, like Andy said, retweet and like the tweet, and you could potentially be a guest on the show. Uh, that is it. We'll see you guys next week. We've got uh, uh, JTE and uh, God damn it. I'm, Jeff I'm, Snyder. Jeff Snyder, thank you so much. I am blanking because uh, I had too much damn fun tonight. That's it. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next week. Adios. Later.